Hey, what's up, what's up? Um, I hope that this thing is working properly. Um, you know, when you do videos, the second and third take, things come off a little generic because you already rehearse what you're going to say. But this is the unique thinker thinking uniquely again. Um, I want to say, uh, you know, uh, shout out to all of the Pop Smoke fans. Uh, you know, my prayers go with the family and uh and and fans uh <clears throat> i wanted to explain that uh real quick uh, i remember when i first heard the song um she liked the way that i dance she liked the way that i will it was um it was in new york city i was celebrating a birthday with my brother the club went crazy it was about a year ago and the club went crazy and ever since then i started liking hip-hop again i like the way the dude rap i like his voice I liked everything. Um, I didn't like uh, rap music for about a good 10 years. Um, I'm not into the Drake movement or none of that. But when this dude came out, I was feeling it. And so, uh, I mean, I have a couple of people I like, but he really put me back on. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't even know his name. And then when I heard this dude, Pop Smoke, died, I was like, what? Who? That's how in tune I, I didn't know who it was. And then when I heard him playing a song, I was like, no. Because I felt like he put uh, New York back on the map. I felt like his dance was, um, you know, we have Afrocentric dances. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I'm talking about dances like you back in the tribes again. And the way they move that foot, you know what I'm saying? I tried it myself. It, yeah, there's a real, there's a spirit that comes on you. When you start moving them feet like that, you know what I'm saying? And, um, but, um, I'm not really here to talk about the, uh, the dancing and the songs. And, cause as you know, I'm a unique thinker. I found out that I'm about 10 years ahead of my schedule, if not more. I'm 10 years ahead of the game. A lot of stuff that people are picking up now, I've been knowing about and telling people about over 10 years ago. So, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, this picture. Uh, as you see behind him is this. And I wanted to, you know, you, you see what's behind him, right? You, you have to look at the video. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the correlate, correlating things together and yourself finding a message. And I'll have a message at the end of this. But um, as you see, there is something behind him. And as you know that. Uh, the word is, is, uh, well, first of all, you know what the woo is. If you watching this video, you should, the woo is, um, uh, you know, uh, that was pop smokes thing. You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, what is the woo? He's like, well, if you're doing something, I mean, if you, if you, if you got on some clothes or you got right car, people go, woo, it's like an effect. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, whoa, like that. And so it was like, you know, I was like, dang, that's hot. But um, as, you know, we started getting quarantined and all of this other crap, I started having, uh, I started putting everything together back in, the, you know, I started putting everything together and uh, the way, the only the way the unique thinker could put things together. You hear where I'm coming from? And um, so uh, Pop Smoke here, he was like, you know, she liked the way that I woo, and I started thinking about, you know, my mind goes all over the place with the woo. You know, Wu Tang Clan. It'll go to uh, not Wu, not just Wu Tang Clan, but Wu Ha. I got you all in check, and I also can go to and and trust me, DJs know this too. They have to know this because the, in order to keep playing the records to make you dance, they have to relate words to their thinking. They just don't be saying it. Um, DJs have to know this way of thinking, okay? Uh, in order to make, if they don't, then they're not really that that good. Because you could make some really hot mixes like that. But you got Wu Tang Clan, you got uh, Wu Ha. I got you all in check, which was um, Busta Rhymes back in the day. If you're born in the '80s, it shows you how old I am. But you you would know. These kids out here, like in this picture, they wouldn't know. And, um, but of course, you also have the 
Wuhan, or Wuha, Wuha, Wuhan, whatever, you know, the place over there where they're doing, um, where they said the, that the uh, COVID came from. Um, you also have that. So I thought that this was kind of this whole, let me point, look at the cursor. I thought that this thing here was a correlation between, um, both, between both, you heard? And, um, I'll put it like that. I've been knowing about these things. I've been knowing about, you have to look at the video to understand, but I've been knowing about those for a very long time. I've been knowing about those for a very long time. All right, so I'm going to move on. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, slide pictures that came to my attention. It's only a few. Um, I'm not jumping to any conclusions. I'm not telling you who's good and who's evil. Um, I'm just trying to open up your eyes to uh, so that you can understand the correlation between thoughts and the way the spirit works. And maybe one day some will, this will help bring up someone that will be able to see things even more clearer than uh, than I do. Uh, okay, I'm not sure how, what paused and began, but I'm going to keep rolling. As you see, they here, these guys, they're jamming. And they are jamming behind that. Um, there's a couple of hood conspiracies, okay, going on right now where um, these things are for us. You heard? So, but, you know, uh, that's a whole nother story. You heard? Um, but, again... They're jamming, all right, and they're having a good time, and uh, they made a very prominent, it's a very prominent scene, you heard? Ain't nothing wrong with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know what is, what, what's, what, what's happening, you heard? Um, again, hold on. So again, you see here. You know what I'm saying? You see what's happening. You heard it's really simple. Uh you you got uh this right here. And then on top of that you got this right here. And actually in reality, right? In reality, you could almost make it says when Han? Who the frick knows? Well you get my point, okay? All right, it's there. The whole thing is there. All right, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Melanin kid, it's all there. You heard? And uh, who would have knew that only a freaking couple of months later, this scene can, will never, it won't be seen for a very long time. Who would have knew that? You heard? So there is a lot of correlation in this and we as melanated people are a big part of the plan we bring forth energy that we know not of here's another scene real quick make sure another real scene real quick with the obelisk if you don't know what obelisk is then you need to look up it the obelisk is very important I'll point to it it's right there I, it's a very important thing, all right? So you can do your research and check it out, but it's, I could tell you one thing for, so, for sure, it's a symbol of power, you heard? They got it in Washington, so let's not act like we don't know this, you know what I'm saying? There it is again. And, of course, he's like, it's the perfect picture, he right there. You know what I'm saying? You could say, oh, let me make sure. So you could say, oh, conspiracy, blah, 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 blah. Look, I ain't saying all that. I'm just saying, just look at what you got. Look at what you got. All right. Um, 
I have one more picture I like to show. This is to my older generation folk. That is this. It's to my older generation people that um uh, I, I I love I love the movie Conan. All right, I love it. And uh, this tower right there reminded me of that tower. That's a you know what that tower. That's a uh, from Conan the uh, Barbarian or Conan the Destroyer. If you haven't looked at it. You should, but that's definitely, um, it's the serpent. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So anyway, um, you got to look at the movie and that between this movie, it always helped me to see this because I watched that movie a lot. It helped me to see this because I watched that movie a lot when I was a kid. I watched that movie a lot when I was a kid. So on that note, I just want to tell you all that, um, you know, to all my younger people out there, uh, uh, those that are uh, in the video and everywhere uh, that love this kind of music, it's okay to love it. But at the same time, I'm going to let you know right now that you're part of the plan. There's a bigger picture at hand and that uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, is coming. Don't be fooled by... The what people say, they'll tell you, you know, well, um, there's a lot of different things, a lot of different ways that the gospel is being preached these days. And I don't mind for people to say that they're, you know, this and that and the third, but uh, Christ is coming back and his word is going to be, it's going to be harder to get saved in these days. Um uh, as well as I feel as though there's going to be an outpour of the Holy Spirit, there's also going to be uh, folk that are going to be scared to go to church because of the crowds. Um, so it's my, the Lord told me, the Holy Spirit told me to feed my, feed my sheep. Um, I'm going to let y'all know that, uh, that I've been saved for a while, that God is real. He's in my heart and, and, uh, you know, uh, People will say to you, me, I hear it on the internet quite often. Oh, well, his name's not Jesus. His name is Yahweh. His name is not uh, this. His name is that. When, when, when he comes back, when, uh, you know, when he comes back one day, now I'm not trying to say, oh, he's coming back today or coming back next week, but the time does look like it's coming close. But when he does come back, he's going to have a name on him. It says in the book of Revelations that nobody knows. Okay. No one's going to know the name of Christ. That he's going to na have a name on him that don't know I know. So I call him Christ. I call him the Messiah. I call him the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. My favorite thing to call him is the Lord of Hosts. Because all y'all out there trying to be MCs, you're trying to be hosts. But this is the number one host. So don't come at me with this other stuff. Y'all be acting like um he ain't, it, it ain't like that. Nah. You better believe it's like that. So, uh, 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 the Lord is real. Be smart about what you're doing. Uh, be smart about where you put your energy and where you, how much energy you're putting and where. Um, don't get too far caught up in the vanity of things. It's okay to be young. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay to be young. It's okay to do the woo. It's okay to do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, remember that you also are part of this big picture and this big picture that's coming, that's at hand, that you want to be on the good side. You want to be on the winning side. You want to be on that side that you know that you could win. So I'm going to close this out in a quick prayer and uh, I'm going to move on to the next Unique Thinker video. That's it. But, um, you know, uh, Darnley Father, we thank you. We ask, O oh Lord, that if anyone wants to know you, let them know you. We ask, O oh Lord, that you um, open the, those that are blind, open up their eyes so they can see their spiritual eyes, so that they could see what you have uh, in store for them. Amen. So that's pretty much it. I love y'all. Thank you for listening. Like, share, subscribe this video. Peace.
unique thinker, baby.